pompano fillets, palmetto fillets. There's no bones in this. You really do not want this guy uh, going into your skin. So, uh, guess what this is, Lorenzo? We make, our, we make our fillet shape. We bring this all the way down underneath here. Victory, total victory. Hey guys, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. In our last episode, we had a pretty cool uh, excursion on Delray Beach. Uh, Lorenzo got a nice palmetta, which we kept and took home. And little Charlie got his uh, nice big bonefish, which was a first for us on Delray Beach. Uh, we got crushed by all these spinner sharks. I mean, they just we lost like thirty dollars worth of weights and hooks. And uh, I don't know exactly what happened, but um, sharks were out, so we got hammered by them. Had a great day. Um, but this episode, we are actually going to show you how to fillet a small fish like a, palm, a palmetto or a pompano. So uh, we're, we got Lorenzo's palmetto and we figured, hey, we haven't done this yet. So we'll show you how we fillet a small fish so that uh, you can prepare them at home. Obviously, there's other ways to prepare them, but uh, we like fillets. We don't like bones in our fish. Um, and or nor the little beady eyes looking at you when we're eating them. But uh, uh, we're gonna show you how to fillet a palmetta. Uh, check this out. Guys, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That helps us out tremendously. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, check the video out. All right, so uh, we put our guy in the refrigerator, or actually on ice overnight, and we're now we're gonna fillet him. So, all right, Lorenzo, this is a nice fish, bro. Yeah. Um, he's gonna be tasty, mm -hmm. guaranteed, guaranteed. First yeah. of all, we need to take off the parasite. Yeah, we need to take off the little parasite. Actually, this little parasite is kind of gross looking. Um, not exactly sure what it is, but that is a parasite. They like looks like he latches onto the fin of. The fish, I've, I know that these are on redfish too. I've seen them on pompano, I've seen them on permit uh, and things like that. So, got, but, so here's the deal. Now, a lot of you guys, you may have heard us call this a pompano. It's actually called a palmetta. Yeah, so you guys have actually, uh, so on the video earlier, we actually called this guy a pompano. Actually, to be more accurate, this is a, what do they call Lorenzo? Palmetta. Palmetta. All right, so this is actually in the same family. It is in the pompano family. They eat crustaceans just like a pompano. But one of the big differences are the pompanos don't have these real elongated fins here on the dorsal and in the caudal fin or in the anal fin. And also pompano don't have these really cool stripes like the palmetta does. Uh, the pompano needs to be 11 inches from the nose to the fork of the tail. Uh, these guys, there is no size limit and no bag limit, so and there's no season. So palmetta are game, um, but I'll, if they're any smaller than this, this guy is about probably about 11 inches to the fork of the tail. Um, if they're any smaller than this, the fillets really there's not a whole lot of meat on them. So they're probably not a whole lot worth it unless you get a whole bunch of them. So, yeah. Lorenzo, but congratulations on your palmetto. It's a nice fish, dude. Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna fillet this bad boy. So I, I personally prefer fillets versus baking the whole fish with all the bones and stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this guy up pretty well. You know? Another thing real quick, I want everybody to see this. Um, right here on the bottom of a permit pompano or palmetto, there are these two little spines and if you see, these spines actually are quite sharp and they will stick you good, dude. It and happened so you, to me. Yeah. Um, you do I not, you definitely, tap it, focus. Yeah, you definitely do not want this guy uh, going into your skin. So that guy, is, uh, that guy will spike you pretty good. They also have them on the dorsal. See right up here, they have these dorsal spines right in front of the dorsal fin. So as you're handling these things, you got to be careful. And these things actually retract. So they go kind of tuck in and they kind of, you can go this way and not get stuck. But if you go this way, you're getting stuck. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So you go this way, you don't get stuck, but you come back and you're going to get stuck by these spines. So just be careful when you're handling uh, pompano, palmetta, or uh, permit. All right. So the first thing we're going to do when you, whenever you're filleting a fish, 
you want to first outline the the shape of the fillet and cut the skin because that's the first thing that you gotta do is you gotta have the shape of your fillet um i personally mm, this guy's a little skin's a little tough he's a little cold uh not knife probably isn't the sharpest knife in the world but so i like to uh kind of come along here in the shape the shape of the fillet and kind of cut the skin first and do that on this side you gotta make sure you're not cutting yourself right that get it started but then before i actually take the fillet off i like to flip them over and do the same thing on the other side and for, the reason being is because once you take this the, the meat off of one side of the fish it actually makes it it changes the shape so you want the meat there while you're working at least while you're skinning uh this portion of the fish Ooh, almost cut myself right there so it's not yeah i need a new knife bro it's not it's not good okay that's the way it's supposed to look so like that we make our little make our fillet shape okay and then we take come from here let's see we make our we make our fillet shape we bring this all the way down underneath here. Ugh. Yeah, just cut through this, some of the guts there. It's, it happens. Okay. Now, both sides of the fillet, the, the, the shape has been cut. Now the thing that you have to do is you have to get your fillet knife. There, there's the spine, the, the, uh, the actual spine of the fish, the bones. They come up right here. You see all the spines. The trick is when you're filleting, you got to get the knife in as close to these spines as possible to, to scrape the meat off of the spine. So you don't want to leave the meat, especially with a fish this small. It's really easy to mess the fillet up, especially when the, the, this is not a thick fish. This is a pretty thin fish. Very easy to miss meat and very easy to ruin the fillet and kind of waste your fish. So you don't want to do that. So you want to cut as close to those spines as possible. So I kind of already messed up a little bit there. There's not a whole, much, whole lot of meat there. So you cut as close to the spines as possible and you come in like this. And you can back off a little bit. Some. I just wanted to show them the spine. Okay. And then cut along the rib cage. And here's what we're gonna do. This filet is almost off. You can see it there. It's a nice chunk of filet. But what I'm gonna do is before I take it all the way off, I'm actually going to leave it on and flip it over and, and fillet the fish on, from this side as well, using this fillet to keep the fish in its normal shape so that it makes it a lot easier to, uh, to clean the fish when the meat is on. So now that the whole trick is to try and get as close to this rib cage as possible without actually cutting the bones into it. I'm actually doing a pretty good job with this guy. It's taking a little long, but doing a good job with this filet. The center pomus will be already done. Center pomus will be done. Yeah, they've, they've got a lot more meat than this little guy. And so, you can cut through the shape of your filet. Now, this guy's almost done. I can now take this filet off. I'll cut through a little bit of that that bone right there, and I'll have to clean it up later. There's some guts. Oh. Forgive the guts, okay? So now. You never saw that before, that's what it looks like. All right, so there's your filet, filet number one. Then I turn them over. Oh, guess what this is, Lorenzo? An egg? No, guess again. Oh, this oh, was a stomach. That's, that, those are, those are. Are what? Sand fleas. Sand fleas. Those okay. Are sand fleas. So there's perfect, so we cut the stomach open here. And you can see all the crunched up sand fleas that were in this guy's stomach. That's what they eat. The palmetto, the pompano, they're eating sand fleas. And there's the proof right there. That's Pro probably what we cut it on. The proof is in the pudding. They eat sand fleas. All right, we're going to flip them over. Um, we're going to take the rest of this filet off. And just like that, we're done. we've got two nice, don't, don't stop it yet. 
So just like that, so just like that, we've got two beautiful fillets. We've got our fish here, which um, we're gonna toss into the canal. And guys, whenever you uh, fillet a fish and you're gonna toss them in a canal, make sure you pop the eyes with a knife. And the reason being, because when the fish starts to decompose, the eyes fill up with gas, and it'll actually bring your fillet, or bring your carcass up to the surface, it'll float, and it'll smell real bad, and people will, um, People will Fine. complain. Yes. Yeah, so, so what you do is you pop the eyes and it'll sink down and it'll become catfish food, right? So the catfish will appreciate that from us very much. Now, all right. So now this uh, carcass is ready for outside. We're going to put him in here for now so he doesn't get stink everything else up. I'm going to wash my hands. With soap. Uh, actually, I'm just rinsing them right now. With and soap. then I'm going to rinse these fillets a little bit Didn't, don't you need to skin them though oh yeah we're gonna skin them we're gonna rinse them and we're doing pretty pretty good so far so i'm gonna with our palmetto with our palmetto and then i'm gonna rinse this off a little bit with some some slime on there okay now Now, skinning a fish is um, Tough. a little bit tougher. I've actually got a glass little fillet board right here, which I'm going to uh, put aside, and I'm actually going to skin it with this um, with this cardboard. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take I use two knives to skin my fillets, and one knife you use as an anchor point and you, you t tap this down right towards the base of the tail of the filet. And then what you do, and you, what, basically what you're doing is you're using that to hold your filet down because you can't really hold it with your hands because it's too slippery. Then with the other knife, you come in and you see how I'm bending the knife, all right? You're, you're trying to get as close to the skin as possible. And then see how I'm doing that? I'm getting the skin away from the filet. And you can do this a lot quicker. This is actually, this right here is really not the best knife because it's not flexible. This is more of a short, uh, stout knife. Uh, a flexible, longer knife would probably be better for skinning. Uh, but I'm gonna bring it through. I missed a little bit of meat there, it's okay. Um, and I'm going to skin this filet here. And the, the, the important thing to remember when doing this is make sure that you keep uh, your everything tight. So I'm gonna do that. Now, bam, there's the skin. We can throw the skin over here. We've got our filet. I'm gonna bring and do the same thing with this other one. And we're gonna bring it here. And, oops, oh boy. Oh my god. Yeah, I messed that one up a little bit. Not too bad, not too bad. You missed like, no, 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 no. It's still, it's still good. Like yeah, it's good. That's good. It's good. almost a pound hey, of meat right there. Watch your lip, kid. Watch your lip. A pound of meat? The whole fish was a pound. No. Yeah. <laughs> you almost so. ruined that, that. That one side is a pound. No. Easy. Not even close. Yes. Not even close, bro. This might be a quarter of a pound or maybe, maybe close to a half a pound of meat. Uh, we'll see. We'll measure it. Okay, so this is a little bit more tricky. I've, I've kind of messed it up a little bit, but it's totally salvageable. A little? Yeah, so now, look at that. Salvaged it. There's a little tiny bit of meat left in here. A little tiny bit of fragments right there, but I think that is a nice pompano sandwich right there, right? Okay, now, um, I can put this knife away. One of the things that you gotta do now is nobody likes bloodline in their meat. Uh, nobody likes rib cage in their meat. So what we have in the middle of our filet, and this is with any fish, right down this center strip right here, probably the first, probably a third of the way down, there are there's a, a rib of bones right here that comes through. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut on either side of this and actually cut this little tiny strip out. And so that when we bite into our pompano sandwich, there are no bones to speak of. And actually right in there is also part of the bloodline. And this is what makes the fish taste fishy. 
you know, that fishy, oily kind of taste that sometimes you get with fish. So we're actually going to remove. That's exactly why sharks kept on eating our bait. Yeah. So we're Perfect. removing that bloodline right there along with our, our ribs. And now we've got a nice piece of meat. There's a little bit of a separation here, but it's still a nice meat. So same thing with this side. This side, I actually got a little bit more of the rib cage. You can see the entire, you can actually see the entire rib cage here. And we're actually gonna need to deal with that too. I, I probably cut a little too far into that, that thing there. So we're gonna remove the rib cage altogether from this. And there's, unfortunately. That's like half of it. <laughs> it's like half the filet. So, so we're gonna remove that. And now there is a little bit of meat in there, but believe it or not, that's a very small piece of meat. The majority of our filet is right here. And now I'm gonna remove the, um, Line. The little bloodline and this piece of uh, little flesh right here that has these bones in it because we don't want to be choking on bones while we're eating our palmetto, palmetto sandwiches, right? Well, I'm eating my palmetto. Oh yeah, so Lorenzo's gonna, <laughs> Lorenzo's gonna eat his palmetto sandwich while I watch with jealousy. All right, so now, so now we've got two very, very nice Pompano fillets, palmetto fillets. There's no bones in this. The bloodline has been largely removed. Out of the whole entire fish, and, that's uh, all we got. Oh, that's beautiful because this is what it's all about. So this is actually a good meal for one person. So there's a there's a good, you know, nice portion of fish meat on one pompano or palmetto for one person. But if, if you know, you guys are gonna try and feed a family. Uh, catch a kingfish. You're, you're gonna need, yeah, catch a bigger fish. A permit would feed a whole family, yes. but maybe a couple families. At um, least two families, but, at least. But a palmetto might not feed a whole lot of people. But not we're going to rinse two. these off. And Lorenzo, are you going to enjoy these? Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. So I'm going to put these here. Actually, we'll put them, put them into our Ziploc bag. And we'll cook them later. Okay? Yeah. We'll put those over here. Okay. We'll dump these guys in this bag. Oops. Put that in here. Bye bye, cardboard. Cardboard's gone. And by the time mommy comes home, there won't be any fish smell in the house. Victory. Total victory. Imagine if she just comes in right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that does it. Um, we have our two nice fillets from that one little fish. Obviously, if you're feeding a family, you probably need more fish than that. Uh, but guys, if you like the video, like I said, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications because when you do, you'll get notified when we put out more videos like this. Um, got a great lineup of videos coming up, some beach fishing how-tos. You're going to want to make sure that you're in on the action. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss those when they come out. And we're going to teach you all about beach fishing in South Florida, on um, the southeast coast of Florida. So we had fun today. Um, we're going to definitely enjoy the palmetto uh, fillets when we eat them. Until uh, next time, guys, watch your lip.